The Gina and Maddie podcast. G, uh, how's your how's your new bestie going, uh, Amanda oh, Keller? Look, I haven't been invited over for dinner yet, oh. but I don't think it'll be that long before she goes. You know what? How nice would it be to have Gina and Rod come over for dinner? And what would I take and what would I wear? Okay, I mean, well, let's let's just rewind just a little bit. So oh. <laughs> uh, we found out on Friday, last Friday, mm. that uh, Amanda Keller, who you have a bit of a, a girl crush on, yeah, absolutely, uh, had been following you on Instagram since yeah. 2021, and you hadn't followed her back. I didn't because I'm not this person who's on their phone all the time, right. and I didn't really, and I still don't completely understand DMs and the whole deal so, and people send, and then there's this whole section you got to go across to. Who's got time for that? Yeah. Well, Amanda Keller did. <laughs> and she's pretty busy. Uh, she had time to follow you and you didn't find the time to follow her. Oh, so on the show on Friday, uh, we followed Amanda from your Instagram account. Yes. And then uh, producer CJ helped you craft a message into her DMs. Yeah, which had a couple of typos in it and Sorry. I was a bit embarrassed. But we were in a hurry because we did it live on air. Yeah. And she... Then she wrote back. I love you. Yep. She said love you. I yep. mean, I said I love you in you the wrote, first one. You wrote pretty much a novel. Yep. In your message, she wrote back one sentence. The the important sentence mm. though, love you, Gina. And then, w- without like consulting with CJ or I, then you proceeded to <laughs> send back. Oh, I didn't realize I had to consult well, with you two. You then sent back another message after yeah. that, which yeah. was a little too keen. It was I, pretty keen. I have to be honest. And then. Instead of replying to that, Amanda just double tapped it and gave it the like. like Which is better than it. missing it completely. Yeah, I didn't mind. Saying, She's busy. Yeah. I understand busy. I'm busy. She's busy. We've got a lot in common. Yeah, yeah, so much. Um, have you, <laughs> ha, has there been any other correspondence? Or do you think that that's kind of it now? You're just going to wait to the radio awards and see you there? I'm and I'm going to give her a big hug at the radio awards. Oh, God, do you, you remember me from the, from the, from the DMs? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely We're hugging gonna her. We're going to film that. We need to film that encounter when that happens. Yeah. Someone needs to be following Gina around when she goes to ambush definitely. Amanda after a couple of savvy bees. She um, might come to me. Uh, yep, maybe. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, she might. Yeah, yeah. I think she will. Yeah. I'll give her the, I'll, I will so power gonna, her over. I'll okay. start looking over her way. <laughs> there is no way you're playing it cool. Just so you know, you I'm think you might. Cool. And you'll get. you'll go, I've waited 30 seconds. She hasn't come over. I'm going to go sit on a lap. You're right. You're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> so let's, let's see who else we can get. Okay. In your DMs, uh, is there any other sort of media personalities, celebrities that you yes. have a bit of a, a lady crush on? Yes. And we can just widen this net mm-hmm. a bit to see if we can... Yeah. Who? Look, I'm aiming high. Okay. I'll admit it. I'm going for Sarah Jessica Parker today because... Okay. Now, all right. I have something why? I have to tell her. I have been wearing her perfume lovely for 20 years. Now, now it's not actually hers. Like, I'm sure there's a lot it's of people... It's got her name and her photo on it. ...have been wearing her perfume. It's got her Does na- she follow you? Sarah Jessica Parker? Oh, I don't know. Hang on, let's have a look. No, I started I following I don't, her yesterday. I actually don't think we need to look. I, no, we can just CJ, say no. CJ, can you have a look? So Sarah Jessica Parker has 9.9 million followers and yeah. she follows 684 and one of them is not Gina Jessica. Okay, okay, all right. Well, so, let's write her a message because now we can change that. Can you type it for me? Can you slide in? No typos, please. I'll try my best. Okay, do so you, what, ha, you hi, Sarah. Oh, no, but this one's going to be a message request. I'll we'll see, see. see if she gets yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Sarah. I've been wearing your perfume. Lovely for twenty years. I don't know. Mix it up a little bit. Is that making her feel? No, no, no. she knows how old she is. Yeah, Yeah. Um, and I can't even tell you how much I love it. Um, it would be too much to say I love that I get to smell like you. Is that too much? No, put it in. It's put too it much? No, too far? No, not at all. Too far? No, that's fine. Well, I love that I get to smell like you. Um, there is no way Sarah Jessica Parker wears her own perfume. Just so And you know. um, what I wouldn't give for a pair of your shoes. Is that too much? Well, that's sounding a little bit stalkery, but that's okay. No, no, from her shop. Oh, right, not from her wardrobe. <laughs> but okay. Can brackets, I wear your skin? Is it, if, if that's the next <laughs> sentence, then it's probably a little bit too far. In brackets, not from your shop, not your feet. <laughs> Okay. I think you need to wrap it up now. Is that gone too far? Uh, All right. Shall I repeat it? Yeah, yeah please. please. Hi, Sarah. I've been wearing your perfume lovely for 20 years and I can't even tell you how much I love it. I love that I get to smell like you. What I wouldn't give for a pair of your shoes from the from your shop, not your feet. <laughs> I think love that's Gina. nice. Love, love Gina. Gina. Yeah. Love Gina. XOXO? 
Yeah. Oh, XX. Like, you're an XX. No yeah. hugs, no hugs, just kisses. Just because I'll okay. hug a real well, person yeah. when I meet her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that too weird? I think that's No, good. that's fine. You're probably never going to be able to fly into America again, but that's fine. <laughs> Gina and Maddie. Uh, I've got a good friend of mine, Carly. Uh, we don't see each other all that often, but like good friends do, uh, we don't text each other, we just send each other memes. Uh, <laughs> and that, that's pretty much the extent of our relationship these days. And she sent me one yesterday, and I thought, this could be a bit of fun. <laughs> the meme was uh, a, a photo of an old lady and it said, uh, rich lady sleeps with homeless man, then lets him drown. And I was like, what? And she goes, and then... I know it. Yeah, think- so what it is, is movie plots explained <laughs> badly, right? So this is a plot of a movie, but explained badly. Rich lady sleeps with homeless man, then lets him drown. Gina, do you have any ideas what movie that could be? No. Do you want Look, to have a go? Is it Titanic? It is Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Why didn't I? That's so obvious okay. now you'd say that. So uh, being inspired by that meme, I thought I'd sit down and okay. write out a couple more okay. and see if you could want to play along. I'm going to be terrible at this. Yeah, I, I, I think that's the point of it. Like, I don't know <laughs> you're if you're welcome. meant to get it. I'll yeah, play yeah, that yeah, role. Yeah, great. Uh, what about a monster saves a girl from marrying a tiny man? Gina. Shrek. And he's Shrek. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> Lord Farquaad is yeah, so yeah. small. Oh, Lord Farquaad. Okay. All right. This is fun. Okay. What have I got here? Do this one. <clears throat> Guy watches wife die and only son get injured in an attack in his front yard. Years later, his son is kidnapped, then travels many kilometres to find his son with the help of strangers he meets along the way. What? Mm-hmm. Can you say it one more time? Yeah. Guy watches wife die and only son get injured in the attack in his front yard. Years later, his son is kidnapped. Then he travels many kilometres to find his son with the help of strangers he meets along the way. Do you know a movie where <coughs> is a it, wife dies and there's just a son? Is it Harrison Ford in... in what, that was a daughter. It is Finding Nemo. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a movie plot explained badly. Uh, what about uh, what about this one? I uh, like this game a lot. A love triangle between an 18-year-old girl, a 100-year-old guy, and a dog. Oh, I got it. Oh, go you, do you want to let Jane have say, a go? Yeah, you yeah, go. go. The little Mermaid? <laughs> no, not The Little Mermaid. It is The Twilight Saga. It is The Twilight Saga, yeah. The dog being Taylor Lautner, the werewolf. The yes. 100-year-old guy being Robert Pattinson, the werewolf. And the 18-year-old girl being... Bella Swan. Bella Swan. That's right. There's no dogs in Little Mermaid. <laughs> no, there is. Eric has the dog. Yeah, he has, he the does sh- have a dog. The big oh, white mm. one. That's right. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. but not under the water. <laughs> no. <laughs> It would be a very different movie. Uh, what about this one? Uh, a guy that's alone in the forest kisses a dead body while se- seven other guys watch. Go, Gina! Go, Gina. Uh, Snow White. It is Snow White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one. Uh, Two more. Do you want to do two more? Uh, okay, where are we? Woman discovers that life in plastic is not fantastic. CJ. Yeah, go on, CJ. Barbie. It is Barbie. That was easy with the tagline. Uh, yeah. And this one. Okay, mate. All right. I'll make it. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. fine. Sorry. <laughs> He's writing them for me, not you. You can, save, you can save the notes on the content of the show for after when we have our okay, nine o'clock okay. meeting rather than doing it on air. That would be amazing. Sure thing. <laughs> what about this? The one where Jennifer Anderson lost her man in front of the whole world. Uh oh. Oh, oh, it's the one where. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt get married. Oh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, yes. that is. Movie plots explained badly. <laughs> Gina and Maddie. G. Yeah. You've been on a little bit of a, a hunt um, for what we've called Poo Gate mm. here uh, at Star One. Oh, some 5. would say like investigative journalism mm. at its best. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> those of you who have missed it, there's uh, there's been a bit of a, a, a random pooer uh, that uses the ladies' bathroom uh, yeah. here at Star in the mornings and is not really cleaning up after themselves. Well, it's quite the crime scene. Mm. Like, um, literally, it looks like. Yes, mm. they left a lot of DNA. It's a code brown. <laughs> <laughs> it's a code brown. And uh, we, there's been a little bit of talk around the office, people ruling themselves out, yeah. like people saying, well, I don't get here till X amount of time, yeah. so it can't be me. Uh, so I, I've got an idea for you which uh, oh. you can steal from a, a couple who got married uh, a few years ago uh, in the UK. Now, I'd like to introduce you to Karen Whitehouse and Helen McLaughlin. They decided to do a podcast about a horrific crime that happened at their wedding of all places. What happened was we had this amazing wedding, best day of my life, naturally, married the woman of my dreams. 
It was such a perfect day. We had champagne reception under fluffy white clouds and jazz music playing and our favourite people. I didn't know about this, I don't think, until afterwards, until we got back to the hotel. And then Karen was explaining that something terrible had happened that night. Something terrible wow. had happened that night of their wedding. And I'll just leave it up to them to explain. That's right. One of our guests actually defecated on the floor, missing the toilet bowl by quite a distance. We quite naturally just have to know who was audacious enough to commit this most heinous crime. So it's a 13-part <gasps> podcast series called <laughs> Who Shat on the Floor <gasps> at My Wedding? And uh, how did they go about finding out who it was? So we thought the best thing to do would be to join forces with our good friend, Lauren Kilby, to conduct a thorough investigation and get some answers. Yes. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up, right? Yes. And I'm going to write an email to every single guest that attended our wedding. Yeah. And I'm going to let them know that we're doing this podcast. <laughs> they pull people in. There's full investigations. Oh. They have conversations. They bought a lie detector. They get a psychic involved. Are you kidding? They quiz everyone and anyone who was in the proximity of the ladies' toilets at their <laughs> wedding. From the, They've narrowed out. They, I won't, I'm not going to give too much away because it is a very funny podcast. Once you get through their friend who has a pretty thick Kiwi accent, bro, uh, once you get past that, it is a very, very funny podcast. And um, I tell you what, I think it's something you should be picking to the podcast people here. Oh, I don't hate it because we've got we've got them here. Like, I, and what we can do is we mm. can get like a, a lamp and face it in their face, and you and I can go out and yeah. interview them. Yeah, we get some Venetian we blinds and just hold them. it in front of them and like give it that sort of effect for the yeah. video. And yeah. if they look up to the left. Mm -hmm. They're lying, isn't that? Isn't that how we work that out? Yeah, or, or we can just like I think it's a process of elimination. Yes, uh, and I think a ten-part series. <laughs> yes. We could even get you know I don't know Ray Martin involved. He can I get know, the Ray. answers. You know Ray? Yes, he yeah. would do it. Look, I, I think it's something that uh, <laughs> if you if you pitch that to uh, the head of podcasting here uh, at Nova, yeah, oh, it's a... I reckon I reckon we'll we're call on it, to we'll a winner. We'll call it the Poocast. <laughs> a poo done it. <laughs> The Gina and Maddie Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.